Let's track review. Help me. And I'm fired. No. Help me. No. <laughs> Hi everyone, No Money Broke Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Tyler the Creator single, <laughs> Fucking Young. West Coast rapper, producer, video director, Tyler the Creator, seen as the leading man of California hip hop collective Odd Future Wolfgang kill them all. At this point, Tyler has a few albums under his belt. I have reviewed them. I don't really fucks with Goblin, but I kind of like Wolf. And even though I wasn't head over heels for this album, what I did like about this LP, in addition to the handful of good songs off this album, is that it seemed like, in a sense, progression for Tyler. Maturity, uh, at least in an artistic sense. So now Tyler, a lot like his odd future cohort, Earl Sweatshirt, is going to release an album just very suddenly next week after dropping a video single. Seems that he doesn't want to buy into the whole month-long, two-month-long hype cycle thing since that's kind of what sort of deflated the odd future bubble to begin with when they initially hit and then started to come out with their first string of big commercial records. So now Tyler is gonna be dropping this album next week. It's titled Cherry Bomb. There are a few tracks from it we can listen to right now, but this one over here, Fucking Young, has a really elaborate video attached to it. It's the big single. The second half of the song has a clip of the song Death Camp that starts off this new Cherry Bomb album. I will touch briefly down on the song Death Camp at the end of the YouTube upload Tyler has put on the internet. This track is easily one of the most hard-hitting songs Tyler the Creator has put together so far. It's a bit of rap rock with this distorted guitar riff all over it that reminds me quite a bit of Nerd, like some Pharrell-style production, uh, specifically the song Lap Dance. Tyler, 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 Tyler is saying, I don't like to follow the rules, uh, which is essentially the sentiment of this song. Kind of a basic sentiment, but one that has run through many a Tyler the Creator song over the years. Lyrically, the song reads as like this braggadocious I told you so moment, as well as this childish micro-rebellion. There are a few decent bars on this track. I love the line about how blind haters are not seeing his vision and now uh, he's paying off a mortgage instead of paying off tuition. But what mostly grabbed me about this song is how we're sort of getting these beat change-ups as well as just the, the instrumental here just sounding really nice, just having a lot of sound quality to it. Uh, much better sound quality when you compare it to some of Tyler's earlier work on Goblin, as well as some of the shoddy, just rough, distorted instrumentals on the OF tape volume two. With the beat on Death Camp, Tyler is kind of upping things a level in terms of not just sound quality, but musical complexity TTT2. And I kind of see that same complexity on the song Fucking Young as well when I look at its instrumental. However, in a way, maturity still remains uh, an Achilles heel for Tyler. It's just that instead of musical immaturity, uh, it's just kind of, you know, topical or lyrical immaturity. But again, the instrumental on Fucking Young uh, is, is pretty sweet. It's this lush, dreamy, kinda synthetic feeling uh, neo-soul tune. There are some very refined layers to this track, some plinky melodies that sound like they might be coming from a glockenspiel, some horns, some strings, as well as a story tagged onto this song that is essentially about a love interest being too fucking young. So young for Tyler that he seems to fear having the cops knocking on his door, uh, I guess due to some kind of statutory type situation. And this is kind of a weird sentiment to hear in a Tyler the Creator song, because uh, wasn't he just saying that he doesn't give a fuck about the rules? Also, Tyler's attitude in his music is usually so bratty and, and childlike. It's kind of strange to hear him commenting on somebody else's youth. But he's not really talking about youth in terms of how one carries oneself. He's talking specifically about age as a number and how that may factor in him going to jail. There's not really a moral quandary going on here. It's just more of a, I would like to stay out of trouble, please. It's a song of temptation. It simultaneously pushes this girl away, but also just flirts with the idea of being with her anyway. Which, in theory, isn't a terrible song idea, but the lyrics here do tend to run a little lowbrow and kind of trashy. The singing at the start of the song is kind of 
amateurish, but it's self-aware in that, and it kind of hams it up sounding kind of bad for, I guess, kind of a funny effect. But once the verse and the lush instrumentation kicks in, the instrumental really smooths out and sounds kind of gorgeous and classy. There is a rap verse in the middle of this song, and while it isn't really tasteful, it does bring more context to the situation. For one, the age difference going on here. Tyler saying that I'm going to be 27, you're going to be 21. We're essentially just talking about six years here, which isn't really the end of the world or anything like that. There are larger age gaps in fully functioning relationships. And if this song has been written in the now, the girl he's talking about is about 18. And uh, why would a legal issue even come into play here? Unless the song, or at least the song idea, is much older than what we're hearing right here. Or maybe Tyler's just not trying to self-snitch, I don't know. We also have Tyler here on this track talking about his dick and it being longer than his attention span and how it splats in his hand. Nice. Lyrically on this track, I can't really say Tyler is any better or any worse than he usually is, but maybe the lack of maturity and the lack of progression in his lyric writing is kind of highlighted. It's unignorable with the fact that the instrumental game seems to have seriously improved. Uh, these two tracks so far are okay. Uh, I'm not turned off by them. I don't think they're terrible. Uh, they could potentially sound better in the context of this album because Tyler's projects thus far have at least been a little conceptual. I think Tyler continues to have an interesting and, and even an artful aesthetic and presentation, uh, but when you dig beyond that to the substance of what he's saying, it's just, I don't know, kind of unfulfilling. That's essentially what I think about these tracks. Transition. If you've given these songs a listen, what did you think of them? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Why? What do you think I should read next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Tyler, the creator forever.